could start fast. The past three games, I think you've had problems getting off, off the ball offensively. Uh, I, def I definitely think we got to clean some things up uh, defensively, offensively when we first start games. Uh, we got to come out with more intensity, uh, things like that. Uh, I think we'll, we'll get it done, though. Is it a matter of getting in the flow of the game or, or what? Yeah, I, I just think sometimes we just wait for teams to hit us in the mouth first and then we respond. I think we just got to work on just coming out and throwing the first punch. Oh, so, so that begs the question, why are you waiting for them to throw the first punch? Uh, it just... Something we got to talk throughout with our team. It's like we can't keep waiting around because one time somebody might hit us and then we can't turn it on and off when we want to. So that's something we got to get fixed throughout the season, through the rest of the season. Sticking with offense, how difficult is it to adapt when Enrique gets in foul trouble four minutes into the game? When you, when, when you guys come into every game trying to establish him, uh, I think, you know, it's, uh, he's definitely one of our threats on offense, so um, it's definitely difficult, more difficult than, than uh, when he's out. But, um, you know, next man up, we got to step up and, and make it happen. Sometimes people are going to be in foul trouble, uh, whatever it is. Um, we got to be ready. Why did the three start dropping in the second half? It looks better or, or what? Uh, I, just, I just feel like guys are more comfortable with the blood flowing. And then coaches, we work on these shots all the time, giving, talking people up to shoot the ball how they usually shoot. So that's why I think they start falling in the second half. X, I'm going to put you in the spot. Talk to me about what this man did for you guys the last three minutes of the game. Key offensive rebound, just hustle plays. Greg? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, he came up with a, a bunch of um, offensive rebounds, you know, and that's what we expect from Greg, man. He making big time plays down the stretch. And uh, it won us the game. You know, obviously, I just characterized the win on the radio as fortunate. I think that's the word that certainly comes to mind for me. Um, I thought we were outplayed. Um, we were fortunate. Uh, I thought the first half, they were the toughest team. We lacked physicality in the first half. Uh, second half, I thought we were a little better with that. And then I just thought we made too many focus mistakes. You know, uh, whether it was trapping um, the post or you know, different situations, recognizing personnel. You know, I just didn't think we were very sharp. Um, I thought our focus was really poor. Uh, the good news for us is we'll get a chance to uh, learn, obviously, from a win. Uh, but we're going to have to play a lot better. Um, I'm aware of that, and hopefully the guys will be aware of that. I told them after the game, congrats on the win, and I'll reserve my comments until Thursday uh, after the day off. So we'll take a look at the film and see how we can get better. But had a hard time guarding them. Nate Duray ran great stuff. Thought Trav put them really in a position to be successful. Um, and they made big shots. Um, so give them a lot of credit. I, I think they're really hard to guard. They, they run really high quality offense. Um, what do you have to do to get your team to start quicker offensively? You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I thought we had good looks early. We had a lot of threes early. You know, they were doubling Reek, and he was throwing it out, and I thought we got good threes early. Um, but some of it's just got to be shot making, you know, because I thought the quality of our shot was pretty good early. And here lately, we've gotten off to pretty good starts. Obviously, today we did not. It took us four or five minutes before we scored. Um, I thought we took pretty good care of the ball. I guess that would be the silver lining in the cloud would be probably three things. One, taking care of the ball. Two, Kobe Mitchell's play I thought was really huge for us. And then I thought Castaneda was just an absolute ombre. I mean, that dude was competitive, tough, made big shots, made plays when his team sensed the moment really well, knew his team needed him to make a play or two when he did, thought he was, his competitive toughness was exceptional. How much does it throw the offense off when you lose Enrique Freeman four minutes into the game due to foul trouble? Well, I think it throws any team off, right? Enrique's one of the, our... Uh, better players. He's certainly our best interior player. And I think if you said to any coach, hey, if you took your leading scorer, second leading scorer, and shelved them for all but four or five minutes of a half, how's that going to affect your offense? That's going to affect everybody's offense. So, you know, I, I know a couple of them were tough calls. I'll have to take a look at it. But at the end of the day, Rike had a couple he could have controlled too. You know, uh, uh, Maramba shot fakes a lot. 
Enrique fell for it twice. It was a point of emphasis for two days, and that cost him fouling out. Now, the other ones you can debate here or there. He's going to get some. It's the nature of the beast. But you, try to want, you want to try to eliminate or limit the undisciplined ones. And he wasn't the only guy. I could give you examples of other guys that I just thought our focus, our discipline wasn't up to par, wasn't up to the Akron standard that we have typically seen here lately. I'm sure you're still looking for balance and scoring, but it seems like Kobe was intent upon making his contribution this, this season. Well, I just thought he played, George, meaning like, you know, he's open, he shot it. He wasn't open, he passed it. He needed to t take a, a, a shot through the chest on a cut downhill on the post trap. He lets a guy run through his chest. He needed to take a charge. He gets his body in the play, takes a charge. I mean, he just kind of does what he's supposed to do. I tell young guys all the time, it's a great example. Um, my friend Matt Painter talks a lot about living through your jumper. And a lot of freshmen and young guys think their way to the court is through scoring and living through their jumper, whether they make it or not. You know, Kobe plays because he's trustworthy. He takes good shots. He takes good care of the ball. He's where he's supposed to be on defense. He doesn't bust plays. He's in appropriate coverage. You know, so, you know, he does what he's supposed to do. He's coachable. Um, obviously, today I was happy for him. He had a great impact on today's win. That being said, what about the last three minutes with Greg and what he contributed in that stand? Pivotal offensive rebound. Yeah. There. Greg didn't play great and was in foul trouble. Um, but you're right. The plays he made late in the game were big. Greg's only been, dude's won a ton of games. Knows what it takes to win. We just got to get everybody back to doing it like we were last, the last week or two. You know, we did not practice very well yesterday. I will right, definitely talk about that on Thursday. You know, I tell them practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. You know, and unfortunately our habits were not good in practice. Thought our focus was lacking yesterday to start practice. I didn't like how practice went down yesterday. We were a little better at the end. Kind of mirrored today's game. We got didn't play very good in the first half. In the second half, we were a little better. It's exactly what happened in practice. How do you refocus them? Well, I think obviously it's my responsibility and, and the captains. They've been named captains for a reason, you know. So I always tell them you got to be ready to take the good, the bad, and the ugly if you want to be a captain. They all had a choice to whether they wanted to be a captain or not. If they didn't want to be one, they could have said, no, I don't want to. I gave them that opportunity. They all took it on. So now we've got to get everybody locked back in. certainly starts with me. It's my responsibility, but I'm going to lean heavily on those guys as well. Those guys are smart guys. They know that we didn't play particularly well. But again, give Miami a lot of credit. I thought they were really hard to guard. All right. Thanks.